Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show and demonstrate my approach to mounting my watercolor sketches on these cool little custom panels I make. It's a really awesome way to display your watercolor sketches in a very contemporary way aside from the traditional picture glass frame. I go to the big box stores, one of the two, and I buy this really cheap quarter inch MDF panel. I like the MDF panel because there's no expansion or contraction, which is really awesome when you have watercolors. I place the watercolor sketch on top, I do a general tracing outline of the size of the watercolor, and from then I will take the MDF and cut it down on my table saw. And from here I'm cutting the panel down to size, all four sides, and then from then I'm taking three quarter by three quarter inch pine strapping, lining them up and cutting them to size to create the frame that goes on the back of the panel. I'll cut four pieces all together. One, two, and voila, here we go. It is all done. Well, not quite. There's a few more steps I'm forgetting here. But as you can see, I did cut the panel pretty close to the size of the sketch, which is good. Next, I take the brad nailer. I use three quarter inch brad nails, which I'll assemble this whole framing system on my panel. But first, before I do that, I use my good old trusty Tile Bond number no. three glue. My glue of choice. Here I'll put some glue on the back of each of the framing panels that go on the back of the panel itself. One, two, three, and four, until it's all done. For most people, this would be just perfect. You don't actually need to nail it onto the frame itself, but any chance I get to use my brad nailer, I'm gonna use it, that's for sure. Here I go, applying some nails through the MDF into the back of the framing. Before you know it, we're going to be all done. Here it is. What a wonderful looking panel to mount your watercolor. Now you might be thinking, look at those holes. You can't have those holes there, but mm, just hold on. That'll be covered in the next step. Oh yes, white gesso. I bought this at Michael's. Doesn't matter what brand you use, this is what I got, this is what I'm using. I like to use the gesso to put on top of the MDF to create a layer between the MDF and the watercolor painting itself. Now I'll use my awesome drywall knife. This will make short work of the situation and it applies it quickly. Better than using a little brush actually. And since I'm super impatient with this whole situation, I like to get it done quick as I can. Here's a handy dandy hair dryer. I use it for my watercolors and I use it for this too. Why not? Why wait an hour, right? And through the magic of technology, we have a dry prime surface ready for heavy gel mat, my adhesive of choice. Here, I'll grab some gel mat and apply my picture to it. I'll generously apply gel mat across the whole panel especially around the corners and the edges. This typically is a place that the watercolor paper likes to lift off, so I want to make sure I have enough down. And after that, I'll take the watercolor sketch and gently press down on top. Next, after that, I'll take an old piece of watercolor paper, put it on top and roll it out. I don't have a roller, but I'm gonna use this heavy gel mat container and roll it out myself. You can use whatever you want though. Just to be doubly sure, I take a piece of wood and really push it down. There's no way this sketch is going anywhere after this. And here it is, perfect. It's flat as flat can be. Next I'll take the piece of paper underneath, turn it over so there's no glue on it. And I'll put it upside down. You can only guess what I'm gonna do now. That's right. Obviously put a 25 pound cast iron weight on it. What else? And from here, I'll leave the weight on it for about an hour or so. And before you know it, it's all done. I turn it over, take a look, and it looks pretty fine to me. Pretty flat, the glue worked, I'm happy. It looks pretty good. But now this is where the courage comes in. I'm gonna take it to the table saw and trim down all the edges to make it nice, clean, and smooth. Get rid of all this roughness, 
glue sticking out and paper. But in the next step, this will be taken care of real quick. I know, it looks pretty crazy. Cutting your watercolor down with a table saw, but you gotta be bold. Here it is. The end result. Look at that. Some clean, crisp edges. And with a little bit of elbow grease, we made a really nice panel to display our artwork. Not bad. You can paint the side of the panels after if you want, however you want to decorate it, but what a nice way to display your watercolor paintings, right? But we have one more secret up our sleeve. Dorland's wax. Here, I'll put Dorland's wax on it. Before I put Dorland's wax, I use a satin archival varnish, which is UV protected. It's going to protect my watercolor painting from any UV damage. The Dorland's wax will provide a seal uh, for moisture. All you do is grab a rag, grab a generous amount of wax, and gently apply it to your watercolor painting. I usually do circular motions, but you can do whatever you want. It doesn't lift off the watercolor paint itself, which is really nice. This is going to add a really awesome protective barrier for moisture. Make sure you rub it all over the watercolor painting. Get all the edges. Look at it from the side. And gently put it on there. There we go. It almost enhances the color too a little bit. It doesn't seem to dull it down or smear any of it. I actually really like it so far, how it's coming out. And there you go. That's it. That's the end result from here. I will let it dry and come back probably tomorrow or 24 hours and buff it in, into a sheen. There you go, guys. This is an awesome way to display your watercolor work on a homemade custom panel. Since I've been doing these, I've been taking the opportunity to apply the same method to other sketches I have. Here's one of the larger ones I just did. Um, this was literally sitting in my drawer. I have hundreds of these things that just sit there and I never look at again. So I thought I would just start putting them onto these panels so I can hang them up on the wall, do whatever, give them away. I don't know. Anything but sitting in a drawer, I suppose. But it's a pretty awesome way to display your stuff. Here's a couple more things I did. My wife's office is full of these things now, so nice little gifts too. All right, hope you guys like. Um, if you like my content and everything I had to share, again, this was my process here today, my method. I know it involves some woodworking tools, but if you guys have access to it, it's a simple way of creating some nice custom panels for yourself. If not, you can buy them in the store, pre-made, and just cut your watercolor down to size. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this content. If you like what I'm showing. Please like and subscribe to help support this channel and uh, happy watercoloring everybody. Take care.